welcome to today's video. It's been a while since I've done this, so I feel a little rusty. I took kind of a long break from filming videos, not because I wanted to, because I really miss doing this, but I was just so busy with school and I was going through some things and it just like wasn't the right time. Yeah, now that I'm done with school, I'm super, super happy to be back. I have so many video ideas for the summer. I already have some old videos that I've uh, been editing, so, so they should be up by the time you see those. And yeah, so if you have any more ideas of things you want to see from me, please leave the comments because I love seeing those comments so so much video for today is how i got my sparkle back this is something that i'm actually like working on right now but i just already see a massive difference in the way i've been feeling the past like three months of 2023 compared to now i don't know if this is for everybody but for me 2023 just started off not being a great year and it kind of continued into that I'm not saying there weren't great moments i had some very special moments my birthday was really fun i had some great times with my friends but i also just feel like i went through a lot and i was kind of at my lowest part of it was school i was taking some tough courses and they were taking a lot of energy from me and I really didn't have any time for anything that I was passionate about or really much time for my friends. So that was a little bit harder for me because I'm a very social person and I love experiencing things and going out and doing all these things and I just wasn't able to do it because I really had to commit to school fully. So it did have some other stuff going on unfortunately but it's just part of life and I feel like everything was kind of happening all together so I kind of lost a little bit of my sparkle. A couple of things that were going on for example is a lot of four of my friends are actually moving away. Some of them not for good but just for like a long period of time and a lot of these people I'm super super close with and I love and I really depend on. I'm so proud of them and I'm so excited for them for these new journeys that they're starting but it's obviously really hard. Um, so I was going through that along with like final season along with just a lot of changes going on in a lot of my relationships which is again part of life. But it just was kind of like a hard time to be going through all these things all together. I knew that once finals would be over kind of everything in my life would be changing and changing isn't necessarily bad and I'm also partly excited for this change because I get to have four months of no school which means a lot of time to commit to social media which is what I'm actually passionate about and making videos and YouTube and everything and also just more time to focus on myself get back into the gym get to go back to my old hobbies like reading and all that stuff so I'm super super excited for the change it's just like I think change can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes but yeah now that I'm here I'm super happy I've said a lot of my goodbyes already to some of my friends who were leaving and it was very emotional and very sad and I'm still sad about it but I do feel like now that I've kind of given my time with them and I've gotten to spend time with them and I've probably said goodbye I can kind of start focusing on what's next for me basically what I mean by getting my sparkle back I just mean getting my energy back feeling like myself I've always been this very positive person I've always felt like I've had all this energy and all this light to share they just kind of not lose that but that side of me just kind of disappeared for a little bit and I do really feel it coming back I feel super positive again I feel independent I feel strong I feel just alive again and I'm just so kind of in love and addicted to the feeling of how I've been feeling lately so I do want to share it with you if you've been kind of going through a hard time yeah so that's kind of where I'm at now today I am heading over to the gym for the first time in a while and I'm so excited because I love going to the gym I never ever regret it and I've never been going to look a certain way or anything like that I really just go because it makes me feel good and I like to stay active and healthy and fit and I really care um, about just taking care of myself and my body so I just wanted to touch on a couple of ways that I've been getting my sparkle back first thing I've been doing to get my sparkle back I feel like is really just taking care of my body so a couple way I've been doing that is um, taking vitamins for example I take my vitamins every single morning and I just think it's really important to make sure your body is getting everything it needs I also think eating healthy not necessarily just eating healthy but just being more balanced with how I'm eating has been really important I feel like during the school year I didn't really have time to make a proper breakfast or a proper lunch so I'd really just like grab a granola bar in the morning and head out and sometimes I wouldn't have time to make a lunch so I'd go and buy something and it wasn't always foods that would make me feel good and a lot of the time actually when I would buy food on campus my body just did not feel good so yeah now I'm actually like prioritizing and taking the time to make myself my meals and make things that I know make me feel good like this morning for example even though I woke up later than I planned I wasn't gonna let that stop me from taking the time to do things that I wanted to do for myself. I woke up like an hour later than I had planned but I still took the same amount of time to make myself a proper breakfast. Really prioritizing that. Yeah so that's been really nice. I still go out all the time and I eat out and I love junk food I'm not gonna lie uh, but it's just like having a more balanced situation. Saving like the junk food and that kind of stuff for going out experiences when I'm going out with my friends instead of just 
buying it because I didn't take the time to make myself a proper meal and doing that every single day. Long story short, just make sure you're eating right, you're balancing your meals, everything like that. Then some other little things that I feel like always make me feel better, for example, are making vision boards. I love making a vision board for every season, for example, when I want to change my aesthetic or anything like that. It's just really fun to kind of put your vision for what you you want your life to look like into pictures so you can kind of visualize it and then use that to kind of guide you for example when you go shopping for your new clothes you kind of know the vibe you're going for so yeah i highly recommend making a vision board i make mine on canva and i just use a bunch of pictures from pinterest and i save it and i'll make it my like laptop lock screen or my phone lock screen which leads me to my next thing which is switching things up so i've had the same um lock screen i think since like February. I think it's important to switch things up, get a new lock screen. I'm also gonna order a new phone case for myself because I've had the same one for so long. It's already kind of cracking and I just feel like it's important to switch things up every once in a while just to kind of like feel that refresh and feel brand new. And then next I would say trying new things, incorporating new hobbies, just allowing new things in your life. So for example, something I did recently was I saw this TikTok about that kind of like early 2000s soft rock slash adult contemporary music that would play in shows like Grey's Anatomy and One Tree Hill and how that kind of was like a flashback to those times and when I saw that TikTok I knew exactly what I was talking about because I love that music and I'm a huge fan of like early 2000s shows um, so when I saw that I was like wait let me make a playlist because I love that music so I went ahead and I made a playlist with all of my favorite songs from kind of that time period and yeah I would just listen to it and feel like a main character in my life and I love that it was just like doing something new and incorporating a new genre of music into my life other thing i did was i started listening to podcasts which i've always wanted to do i don't know why i never did it like it was always on my mind but i just never thought to actually do it until now yeah so i started taking out podcasts that talk about wellness and like hot girl summer and like your best self and um becoming that girl and all those things so a couple of my favorite are on my mind by ava jules and a better you by fernando ramirez if you have any more please comment below because i just got into like the podcast um dimension i guess you could call it those are ones that i've been listening to and they're all just about like elevating yourself your energy your life romanticizing your life all these things that i'm really really passionate about and kind of what my youtube is about as well yeah, i think it's very important to be intentional with the media that you're consuming i feel like when i was in that period where i was sad i really got comfortable with being sad and kind of um, I lived in the sadness for a while. It's definitely important to wallow and feel your feelings and every, everything like that. I think it's really important to let yourself process those things, but not to the point where you're just living in it, which is where I was at. So I was even listening to music that was making me sad. I was watching shows that were making me sad and just kind of encompassing myself in this sadness. I won't lie, like I'm a sucker for sad songs. I really, really love sad songs. I just think they hit different and I'm not saying cut those things out of your life, but I'm just saying be more careful. Like don't listen to a bunch of sad songs back to back. Don't make that like a daily routine. Certain uh, artists, for example, like Gracie Abrams, I love her, but her music tends to make me sad sometimes. So instead of listening to her whole album back to back all the time, I would make a, a little playlist of just some random songs I want to listen to and then incorporate one or two songs of hers. Just so I still get to listen to it, but I'm not just like stuck in this loop of sad songs over and over and over because that just is really unhealthy. And being super intentional with the media you're consuming and the energy you're allowing into your life. So yeah, those are a couple of the things I've been doing to just kind of elevate my life, romanticize my life and get my sparkle back really and I've been feeling really great I've been feeling like myself I've been feeling super independent I've been feeling super motivated to live my life again which is so nice I wake up every day excited I know all these things that I want to do and it's just it's super nice to have that back I just want to share a couple of those things and as we go through the video you'll see a couple other things that I've also been wanting to do to just kind of improve my life starting with right now I'm going to the gym again I just keep it super casual I just do a little bit on the treadmill I'll do the 12 3 30 routine if you know what that is i'll usually do some like core uh workouts just like a quick 15 minute video i'll follow along on youtube i feel like i've been talking really really fast i don't know if i have so I ha if i have i'm sorry workout and I feel so good that was a good workout that was a really good workout I was sweating and it felt great I tried to film a bit 
um, for the vlog, but also I'm a person with gym anxiety, so I can imagine other people with gym anxiety, so I didn't want to like film and get someone in it and make them uncomfortable. And I also didn't want to make myself even more stressed because as I said, I get a little anxious at the gym. I feel like today is the perfect day. First of all, it's sunny. And if you are from Vancouver, you know the importance of a sunny day because we get like rain nonstop all spring and then pops of sunny days here and there. Like it's sunny for the next two days and then next week it's raining and 16 degrees. So it goes from like 24 degrees to 16 degrees in a matter of days, which is crazy. And it kind of like messes with my emotions and I get a little seasonal depression. So when it's a sunny day, any Vancouver person makes, oh, there's a person walking by, I'm uncomfortable. So anyways, when it's a sunny day, every Vancouverite is what we call them. We make the most out of it. Like if you go to the beach on a sunny day, it is packed, it is crazy. And I love that about Vancouver. Yeah, it's a really good day. I had a good workout, it's sunny. In other news, I got my mark back for the accounting course, which I was talking about earlier. I was taking these courses that were draining me so much and that was accounting. That course made me cry. It put me through it, let me tell you. I have never worked so hard hard in my life in a course but I got my mark back today and I passed I am so so freaking grateful that my work paid off because that was a hard course and I'm just ah, it's the perfect day it's literally the perfect day and I'm so happy and anyways so now that I'm done with my workout and I got my mark back and I'm feeling good I get to go shopping and get myself some makeup so it's an extra little treat for passing my course so yeah I'll go pick up the stuff and I'll give you a little haul and then we'll head home I'm sweating. Where's the AC? Okay. AC is on. We're good. Oh, I finished shopping. So let me show you everything that I got. So first is, I actually don't really know what this is, but my mom told me about it. It's called, it's the brand One of One. And it's like a mist that you put basically and it smells good and you just spray it on your face and it has like vitamin c and hyaluronic acid and all this stuff i thought it'd be good in the summer when i get really hot i can just like spray it on it smells good and it can be kind of like refreshing next oof, i got this hydrating camo concealer from elf and then we got this lash serum all these things are from elf by the way because i'm not crazy into makeup i don't know like what the best brands are or whatever but that's just the one i've been using since like high school and i like it so i've just been using it ever since um but yeah i got this like lash serum which i've been using and i get i don't know if you can see in this light but i do get compliments on my lashes so i feel like in part is because of these and then I got a uh, like a setting spray, also from e.l.f. It's called the Matte Magic Mist and Set. And the last of the makeup products is just eyeliner. This is a new one. I couldn't find the one that I usually use. That's all for makeup. And then, I don't know why these were like screaming to me, but basically like this, oh, this is melting. But the Sneakers Chocolate was like my favorite growing up and I haven't had it in a long time and I saw it in the aisle and I just kind of wanted to get it. So I got it. And then I also got Sour Patch Kids. These are extreme though, so I think they're even more, they're either bigger or more sour or both. I don't know, but I'm excited. And I'm gonna share them with my sister, but yeah. I am gonna get going. I'm gonna go home now and shower i need to shower so bad um and yeah we'll just go from there so i'll see you when we get home okay i am here post shower the post workout shower just hits so different i feel so clean i feel so good yeah i'm pretty hungry right now so i'm just gonna eat up and watch friends that's my favorite thing to do ever is just like get some food put on my favorite show and just chill and think about nothing and that sounds perfect right now that's what i'm doing and this is what i made i don't know if i'm oh i'm scared it's gonna spill but basically i just made myself like a veggie wrap with some cucumbers on the side so another little thing about getting that sparkle back and romanticizing your life is things like this like i don't know if you saw but the way i plated it like i didn't necessarily have to do that i could just put it normally but doing little things like romanticizing even just like the food you eat or like how you eat it so by like putting your favorite show in the background and plating it really nicely and things like that just to kind of I guess like elevate the whole experience altogether. I think that's what I try to do in my life to just kind of romanticize everything and um, kind of live for every moment and not let things slip by. So kind of enjoy every moment the best way you can. Anyways, I'm super like low energy right now. So I'm just gonna eat and watch and chill for a bit and then we'll pick it up afterwards. <laughs> 
for the rest of the day. I just have to edit a video and I'm planning on reading because I was really getting into reading last year and I really really loved it and I kind of lost it at the end of last year and started this year because I was part in part because I didn't have time but I was also doing so many readings for school that like I just didn't crave reading anymore because I was constantly reading but I do really really miss it I love my romance books so much and I miss reading them all the time so I will be doing that today <laughs> things for myself online I think I mentioned earlier in the video um, I am going shopping next week so again stay tuned for that a massive haul is coming I hope but there are a couple things that I just need to order online because I can't get them in store and I've I don't know why I did this I kind of held off on buying myself anything pretty much this whole term because I knew it was a tough term and I wanted to kind of motivate myself to get through it so that I could have this like massive shopping spree after and spoil myself with all these things thinking back I probably could have bought some of these things um it wouldn't have been that big of a difference I still could have celebrated it after but here we are so now I have all these things to buy and I'm excited to buy them so yeah I'm just gonna go online and buy some things <music> One more thing, I already did this yesterday and I didn't film it, but an important part of getting your sparkle back has to be an everything shower. I swear every girl I know is obsessed with their everything shower. And if you don't know what it is, it's like a long shower where you do everything to take care of yourself. So you'll usually do like a hair mask before, you take your shower, you shave, you exfoliate. And then when you get out of the shower, you put like a face mask on, maybe you paint your nails, you put like eye masks on, everything. You just kind of do everything to elevate yourself. If you have not had one, do it. It is life-changing. I remember my friend Irina, last week I think or like a week or two ago was not having the best week and actually neither was I we were kind of going through it together and um at the end of the week she had texted me and she's like I had my everything shower and I feel so much better I feel like myself again I feel like a baddie and I was like yes you go girl and when she said that I was like I need to do that I need my everything shower because that fixes everything it's like the perfect reset and I had my everything shower and I felt amazing I felt on top of the world I felt like an it girl I was like I am that girl and yeah so it really goes a long way to just like take care of yourself and show up for yourself and when you feel good on the outside I feel like it translates to feeling good on the inside and vice versa make sure you take the time to take care of yourself even if you have other commitments you really have to show up for yourself first and that's really really important if you take anything away from this video it, i hope it's that you just show up for yourself be there for yourself prioritize yourself and your health and your needs yeah just put you first at the end of the day that's all you can really do you can't really focus so much on taking care of other people before you take care of yourself and it's really important you do that so i really really hope you do that i think the last thing i want to do for today is set my goals for this month and my to do's and just kind of plan ahead for what i'm expecting for this month so i have my planner and i use it for like school and everything but it also just on the first page has a uh, goals, birthdays, anniversaries, to-dos, any extra notes for each month. I'm going to be doing that now and just kind of writing down my goals for this month. So I've gone ahead and written some of my goals and yeah, so a lot of my things are kind of centered around social media. So I have how often I want to upload on YouTube, on Instagram, and on TikTok. And then I also have a gym roughly three times a week. I'm hoping to read two books this month. I think I can honestly do more because I used to read more, but just because I'm getting back into it, I don't want to overestimate or like put too much pressure on myself and I want to enjoy the process. So I'm going to say two books, hopefully more, but we'll see. And um, I also put, I want to start biking again because I have a bike and I never ever use it. I feel like because I, if I'm running errands, I usually drive, but just biking for the sake of biking now that I have the time and the weather's getting better, I feel like that would be really, really fun. And then I just put some to do, so things I have to do um, in terms of like school stuff, work stuff, emails, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here for today. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I hope you got some good tips on how to romanticize your life and get your sparkle back. If you're going through anything, I'm sending you all the love. I know you're gonna get through it. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.